Hey, Angel Nation. Are we? Oh, we're not on. You can do the intro. Hey, Angel Nation. We'll give you guys just a couple seconds to join in. We are here at one of our vet partners, Peachtree Corners Animal Clinic. Hi, cuties. I know. Look at these Hi, cuties. adorable little. It's so black over there. <laughs> Luann's wearing a black angel sweater. We have two black puppies who are adorable. Mm -hmm. We want to just introduce all of our Facebook followers to and our donors today on this very important Tuesday to some of our new babies that we rescued today. We're here right now with Walter and Melina. And then we have a few more in the back that we'll switch out. And we're also here with Louie Ann Farrell, who is the co-founder of Angels. Hello. And um, Louie I thought maybe you could tell us a little bit about these puppies and where they came from. And I see they like chewing on skin. They do. They love that arm. Here you go. Um, <laughs> these two were actually purchased from a breeder by someone. And um, I'm sure they were well-meaning and wanted to, you know, they thought flat coat retrievers would be awesome, which they are. But then they're they so pretty. Look at their coat. Oh, I know. Look how beautiful they Hi, are. Hi, cutie. And this Hi. is Walina, and this is uh, Walter. <laughs> I can't imagine why anybody would think having two of these at one time was a lot. <laughs> I know. And so, you know, they're just, they're, they're um, 12 weeks old. And so, of course, they're rambunctious puppies. And these people decided that they were, had just gotten too big and they were just too much. So they took them to the shelter. So and they bought them from a breeder and then dumped them at the shelter 12 weeks or just six weeks later. Yeah. So, you know, that's kind of, and you know, you think about these dogs in these shelters that they are just, you know, like bad animals or they're, you know, something, there's aggression issues or there's problems with them. But that's not true. It's dogs like this that they come from these breeders. You don't have to go out and um, you know get um, dogs by them. You know they end up in the shelters. These are awesome. We get dogs breeds. from from designer breeds to these purebreds like this every day. April Holland says she donated. Thank you, April Thank Holland. You. If you're able to help us with our mission today, the best thing you can do for today only is go to georgiagives.org. That's G A. Look at this little guy. G-A-G-I-V-E-S dot org. And you'll find our name on one of the leaderboards, Angels Among Us Pet Rescue. And if you click on it, that'll take you to our page. Is that good, buddy? I know. Is he says, I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to catch up on my reading. <laughs> so georgiagives.org. Find Angels Among Us on there and donate through that page. Every gift over $50 makes us eligible for a prize. There is a big power hour from 4 to 5 where the donations count for more and we're eligible for more prizes. So if you're looking to donate, please set an alarm and donate at 401 anytime Absolutely. during that hour to help us win more prizes. Georgia Gives Day coincides with Giving Tuesday, so there are extra prizes and everything this year, and we're trying to get our piece of that to help more little babies like Walter and Melina. This little guy's a bookworm. <laughs> he is. Is that a good magazine? <laughs> I swear he's got is that good? And he's eating that. <laughs> yeah, I know. And he goes, I'm What like are you reading? Real or... simple? <laughs> he goes, Are you a lifestyle? <laughs> you like Martha Stewart, huh? Is that her magazine? <laughs> They're just absolutely adorable. But one thing we do at Angels is we don't um, we don't let these litters go together. Isn't that right, Luann? That's exactly right. Because what happens is that um, they do have statistics. <laughs> Statistically, they do show that sometimes there is some aggression issues when they have um, puppies that go as siblings, um, especially when you have two like sexes, like two males or two females. Um, so, you know, for the larger breeds, we like to go ahead and separate them. And I know it might seem like they're, you know, super bonded and love each other, you know, tremendously. But as they age, you'll see <laughs> there's a change in them, you know, as they become adults. So. It doesn't always uh, really actually just work so well. So yeah, they're good babies. And, and it's also really hard to raise two puppies. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I've fostered a lot of dogs and I've fostered a lot of puppies and one puppy at a time is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Even when they're bad, it's really cute. But two puppies ganging up to be bad <laughs> and, you and destroy your house is a yeah. lot. <laughs> and you can have this all the time, you know, this fighting and the mouthing. And these guys have been out kind of, we've had them be running around a little bit for a while. So go back to your magazine, buddy. Yeah, he's got to go back to his reading. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get another one. Okay. In. 
This is another young lady that just came in today. Her name oh, is look at this girl. Hi. And I'm I think we're going to try to switch. Do you want me to hold her? her? We need about three more sets of hands. And then we've got these. <laughs> There's that one. We'll see how this goes with these kids. There, she's Hi, cutie. Beautiful. And what is her name? Her name is Cornelia. Hi, Cornelia. Hi. Oh, <laughs> say puppy, stop it. She goes, puppy, stop. Puppy, yeah. stop. <laughs> there we go. She's ready for her time. There we go. Oh, Again, yes. if you'd like to make a donation, go to georgiagives.org. Oh, Between yeah. four and five, we'll be Hi. eligible for a lot of prizes. Um, but anytime today is great, georgiagives.org. Oh. And we'll capitalize on those so that we can win more prizes and more money to save more dogs like Cornelia. Look at her little tail. Cornelia, are you happy to be out of the shelter? Sweet. She's like, and I'm glad those puppies are gone. Those puppies are wild. I don't blame you. Hi, cutie. Oh, she is like, she just came in from one of the shelters. So she's, she's like a dachshund. She's like a, yeah. What? What? She's a lot smaller than I thought she yeah, was going to be. she's tiny. So she's like the size of a standard dachshund. Mm -hmm. She's um, like a long-haired dachshund mix of some sort. Maybe some mixed spaniel. in. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's only a year old. Too, Someone right? says, that's a good shirt for Luann. No visible dog hair. <laughs> I know. It's like know. Black Dog Day. It is. It's all black dogs. <laughs> You just wait. We have a yellow one coming up here soon. Hi, cutie. Can you say hi? Say hi. Thank you for donating to Angel. She goes. I Destiny know. says, "Do we have any labs? We just had two flat-coated labs that we just had in here a minute ago, Destiny. But we have about 350 dogs. So, and we do have a lab coming up. We have another lab coming up, but we have 350 yeah. dogs. So, I can assure you, at least 75 of them are labs or lab mixes. Okay. I'm just gonna close this so we don't get a runner. This my baby Hi. girl. Look how beautiful. I know, and look at these sweet little Aww. things. I mean, you know, obviously somebody, she was somebody's pet. I mean, she, you know, she she's sweet, sweet and she likes to be Look held. at that smile. I Hi. know. And she's, she's a little a, thing. She's probably only about 20 pounds. Yeah, I thought she was a lot bigger than that. She's not very much at all. She's Aww. little. And she's such a good girl. She might have a little spaniel or a little long-haired dachshund in there. She's so cute. Yes, and that's Cornelia. Yes. So, Luann, tell us a little bit about how Angels came to be. Because, you know, a lot of people don't know the whole story. And Angels really is a grassroots rescue. There's no big corporate donors. We do have donations that we get from corporations, but we aren't sponsored by any one big corporation or anything. Can you tell us a little bit about how Angels was birthed? Yeah, we. Um, I started rescuing when I moved back here from to moved back to Atlanta from Georgia or from Washington, and um, I just started pulling dogs on my own and and um, trying to find homes. And then my friend Val. And when you say pulling dogs, you mean like taking them out of a shelter, yeah, going and getting them, getting them bedded, and finding them a home. Exactly. Okay. And so then my friend Val decided that she wanted to join me, and so we started Angels in February two thousand nine. And um, it's the, the nice thing is, is that we were all volunteer up until 2014. So all of the money that we raised because we didn't have any operating expenses went directly to the vetting, except for a little, you know, miscellaneous things. But we've been lucky enough to to keep that. For every dollar that we earn, goes the majority of it goes to the vetting for these animals. Well, and I will say we really only have five employees right now, and um, our adoption fees help offset some of the vet expenses and also go towards paying those salaries and, and keeping the lights on. The things that we have to do right. that aren't directly dog related like paying state registrations and um, paying fees to be able to you know solicit money things like that that aren't sure. directly dog related but are necessary expenses exactly. so we use our adoption fees for that so it's still true that every dollar that you donate goes into, goes into the care the of the animals. animals. And the fact is, is that you can probably oh, so see pretty. is that you know Georgia has a problem with black dogs. Is that a <laughs> Clearly lot of them today. don't make, they don't make it out of the shelters. And so um, from the very beginning, we our mission was to obviously rescue one until there are none. But it was also to try to take the ones that nobody else wanted and nobody else could help. So. Because of that, Angels does take a lot of the ones that are probably a little less desirable. Although these are amazing. These are clearly. 
um, but a lot of them too that have been hit, like say by a car. We'll get a call from the sh um, animal shelter and say, they've just hit a dog come in that's been hit by a car. Um, can we help? Or um, maybe a dog that has been obviously attacked by maybe a, in a fighting situation. And um, you guys probably just remember seeing that you know, with one of our girls that we just took. And um, you know, she's back on the road to recovery right now. So we do take the ones that are hard, the ones that are a little tougher, and the ones that take a lot of money. I think she wants to bring us our next dog, uh -oh. so we'll let her I guess switch us out. I don't think she wants to go. I don't think so. <laughs> Here it comes, big guy. To give hugs. This Cute. guy is gorgeous. Yes. This is definitely a pretty dog day. I'll take Hi. Hi. And this is Canton, right? This is Canton. Hi, buddy. Sorry, Cornelia. Bye. Someone asked if we needed volunteers. I know. She doesn't want to go. Um, we always need volunteers, and you can live anywhere in the country. Um, or even abroad, really, Hi. to volunteer for us. Hi. You can go to angelsrescue.org slash volunteer to fill out an application. We have volunteers from as far away as Washington State, California. Um, we have volunteers really everywhere. Um, a lot of what we do is virtual. We don't have a facility, so we are foster-based. So there's a lot of things you can do, like help. Um, you can't obviously engage with the animals if you're not here in the metro area, but you can do a lot of other things for us. I'm going to get you a cookie. He is gorgeous. Here, would you like a cookie? Here, let's show the people. Oh, how he's, oh, no, oh no, no, we need that. That's uh, a better boy. No, that's, it. Good boy. <laughs> that's a good boy. Oh, look, and he takes the cookie so easy. He's pretty young, don't we think? He's a, really, we think he's 14 months. Oh, he's gorgeous. He was also an honor surrender. Yep, so. so all of these dogs today came from Middle Georgia, and we yep. chose Middle Georgia today for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, the metro area, there is a huge need. There are so many dogs that die here and so many dogs in our shelters. Um, but there's also a lot of rescues here, and a lot of attention gets paid to those dogs. But in some of the more rural areas, there just aren't as many rescues who go there, and there aren't as much, um, there's not as much money, there's not as many volunteers. And so we really tried to choose dogs today that would come from shelters that really and truly might not make it out. Each one of these dogs would have been in danger of euthanasia um, had they not been rescued. And so some of them I know still need fosters. I think a couple of them have yeah, fosters. We still need but... fosters because, you know, we're foster based. We don't have a facility. We don't have a shelter <gasps> for, to put them. Look what a good And so, I mean, look at this. Could you imagine, you know, him being put to sleep just because somebody decided that they couldn't oh. have a dog anymore? And, and he's a big dog. He's a lot. He's a puppy. A he probably jumps on people. He probably jumps on your car if you're outside. Like, yep. he's. He needs training, he needs time, he needs attention. But I mean, can you imagine? I mean, you know, just think of it, you know, going camping, mm -hmm. you know, taking him out for a run, you know, going to the park, you know, I'm sure he likes balls and frisbees. Look up here. Hi, handsome. I know. He's, He's like, I'm just so happy. I know. And I don't so... need to do anything except just be. <laughs> I'm just so relieved right now. I know it. And so these are the dogs that are in the shelters. When we were doing the hugging dogs um, back a couple of years ago, when we were on national television, that was really the, the message we were trying to get across <laughs> to everybody. Hi, is that, you handsome. Is that you? You know, you these. You know, go to your local shelters, go to your local rescues, because we were on a national, you know, basis on that. Is that these are awesome animals that are out there. Hi, you want to show them your beautiful I face? I know. He goes, I'm very oh, gorgeous. can you get the treats out of here? Can you do that? He goes, I can smell it. Can, can you see him? Can you see him? I can see you gotta work him out. out. He is gorgeous. He is so if you'd like to donate to help our mission, please go to georgiagives.org. That's G-A-G-I-V-E-S dot org. And four to five is the power hour, where the more we don't, the more we raise during that hour, gets us eligible for even more prizes. So we're really hoping for a big showing. That's in three minutes. So he's like, I figured out where the cookies are now. He knows where the cookies are. He is a smart boy. He just needs training and time. Good boy. Oh, oh good what a good boy. boy. Destiny, he is up for adoption. You can go to angelsrescue.org slash adopt to fill out an application. He is about 14 months old. Mm -hmm. um, our requirements are that you and all members of your family <laughs> come here to meet him. And that includes dogs and cats. 
Oh, uh, you're too smart for us, buddy. Get over here, baby boy. You're too smart for us. Here we go. He's found the cookie supply. I know. Let's see where our <laughs> other ones. We have more coming somewhere. He is just beautiful, and he needs an active family who will make sure he gets exercise every day. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, he's, he's so sweet. sweet. He's good. Do you want to see him here with Krista for a minute? Hey, buddy. Come no, here. Stay, stay, stay in here. Just a minute. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Say hi to the people. Oh, hello. <laughs> he's just a happy boy. I think he's already bonded with Lou Annie. He wants her to come back. Don't knock our stuff over, buddy. Hey, Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster, come here. Come here. We have a Cookie Monster on our hands. You go. There you go. <laughs> come on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, sweethearts. Oh. Come on. Here we go. That was real sweet. Hi. Did we have a runaway? Yes. <laughs> we just couldn't find another dish. I'm sorry. Hi. Okay. So, who are these sweet little babies? These are Athens, Alpharetta, and Cordell. Hi, babies. Hi. So, we named all of our dogs today after Georgia City. Please. So, Cordell, Hi. Athens, and Alpharetta. Cordell is down in Middle Georgia, near where these babies came from. Hi. What are you looking for? I'm here, I'm here. Let's get down on the floor. You guys want to come see me? So these guys are a little scared. So these are probably not owner surrenders. These are probably an unwanted litter that got dumped at the shelter. <laughs> it's like being in a sea of sharks. Yeah. They're like, now you're talking a language lady. You're on the floor. <laughs> no, I know. So these are the kind of puppies, though, that when you go to the shelter, mm -hmm. they may not engage with you. These are the puppies that will hide in the they're corner scared. because they're scared. They haven't had enough human interaction, and they just need someone to get down on their level and just give them patience. And within a couple weeks in a foster home, they will all be perfect. <laughs> and I think we have more cookie monsters. <laughs> How do you guys keep finding all the cookies? I know. Huh? We can smell them, Mom. How do you keep finding all the cookies? <gasps> Are there cookies? Oh, hi. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's there's that? cookies. Oh, you don't mean like, mm, that's not what I want. Uh-oh, I'm one short. I thought I was going to break oh, them in half. Yeah, we got pieces, parts, <laughs> Oh, good. We got pieces, parts. That's good. Yes. But I mean, these are, you're absolutely right, these are probably just an unwanted litter that they just, you know, probably they lived under a porch or in a backyard, and they just need a home, a foster mm -hmm. home to teach them a little bit of manners and what's allowed yes. and what's not, and give oh. them the confidence that they're going to get three meals a day, and they're going to get let out, and they're going to be loved every single day. But these are the kind that have a hard time getting out of the shelter, even though they are puppies. Yeah, because they come in and scared. they're scared. They're scared and they hunger in the back of the um, the kennel, and then people just keep walking by. But this is what they do once they get Here out. Well, another one. Here you go. Look at the cookie. Oh, you gotta break it up. <laughs> and they probably had to fight for what they got. I mean, they aren't too skinny, but um, they certainly know, are. A could use a little bit of weight. Definitely could use some weight. What are you doing, sure. blue eyes? What are you doing, Blue Eyes? Oh, no, Hi. So sweet. <laughs> and we'll have to basically keep these dogs for two weeks. We have to quarantine for two weeks because we don't know what kind of shots. We're assuming that they've never had any vetting whatsoever. So what we do is we keep them for the two weeks. That way we know if they have something that's going to be a, that's a quarantine area that they'll either break if they've been exposed to something. So um, that way we don't pass anything on to our um, potential adopters. And um, so the foster will take them, will probably break them up because they're bigger puppies. And, and it's time. I know a lot, we talked about this a little bit. People say, oh, they love their brother or sister. They should stay together. But really, they shouldn't. It's not natural for them to stay together. Um, they want all the attention, all the love. Yeah. That doesn't mean they shouldn't be around other dogs. But um, right. learning from an older dog is better for mm -hmm. them than continuing to have their their siblings with them. And sometimes, especially if they're scared, um, what we found that they kind of become codependent on sure. each other. 
And then by lead making them, they, it almost forces them to get out on their own. And putting them in homes, I've had that before. We have people that, you know, my dogs will teach them. So sure. basically, yeah. our dogs teach them their social skills. I have two female dogs, and they are very quick to put puppies in their place and tell them, yeah. you don't bother me when I'm sleeping, and you don't take my toys, and they're real good teachers. They've taught over 50 puppies now, so they've kind of got it down. They kind of roll their eyes, oh, not another one, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And see, they become, because then once they find out, too, that, oh, there's all this attention to be had, then they become a little bit, you know, they're almost challenging each other for it. So, right. Um, you know, Someone's asking what breed these dogs are. I think these are mutts. Probably have, some hound dog. Yeah, or might have a little lab, maybe a little husk. You know, when you see the white, um, the white eyes. I think the these are, these eyes. are dogs. They are just these are dogs. dogs. These are middle Georgia dogs. Yes, but I mean they're beautiful and you know, and, and they're so sweet. And come on, baby. This one's like, ooh, I found the spot. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, you know, they're so cute. Um, which one is named what? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I had it written down, and um, but I think um, if you guys look, we had them on our site a little earlier today, and so if you just could go to our Angels Rescue. Um, you will see um, the posting for Yeah, them. if you scroll down on our Facebook page, yeah. you'll see their post that has each of their names. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. They're like more treats. All right, you can have one more. Okay, more cookies, just a couple. Just a one couple. more. All right, there you go. <laughs> I would not normally group feed them, but they take one bite and they break into pieces, so... It's like 10 treats when it's really one. Mm -hmm. um, we're now in the power hour. It's 4.05. So if you would go to georgiagives.org, that's gagives.org, to make a donation to help us out here on Giving Tuesday. Hi. Hey. These guys are very happy to be out of the <laughs> shelter. Yes, they are. They're so cute. Yes, they are. So they are so cute. Does anyone have any questions for us or for our founder, Luann, about angels today before we sign off. Um, is this, this is all the dogs that are here now, right? These are this the vet. Ones we have so we're at um, one of our vets, and then we have another vet that's getting some dogs as well mm -hmm. that I think we just found out about and are just now coming in. I'm not even sure if we have them yet. So it's been a busy day. Mm -hmm. You are so pretty. Your eyes are just beautiful. Yes, they are. You are just beautiful, but so skinny. So it's like they don't really have any kind of a husky body. No, they really don't. No, Whoops. Really don't. It was inevitable. We was, had a clean up on I know. Too. <laughs> I mean, I'm impressed that we made it this long without any potty I incidents. Know. Usually it ends up on me. I know, but that's okay. Do you guys think that they know Luann's a dog person? <laughs> <laughs> and see, now you can see the dog yes. there. <laughs> I know. We should have stuck with black dogs. Yeah, so thanks you guys for everything. Um, we really need Hi, your sweetheart. help. Oh. And you know what? If we just want to continue to do this, and hopefully someday we won't have to. Hopefully, you know, we would love to go out of business for the right reasons. I would love to not have to do it anymore. As a, any of the, you know, we've got so many other rescues too that, you know, there's so many of us that are out here, you know, working and every day and trying to, you know, make a difference. So, um, you know, it's not as easy as it seems. Oh. No, it's it's tears every day, it's heartbreak every day, but it's also triumphs and joy every day. We'd love to have you join our team. Um, you can go to our website, angelsrescue.org slash volunteer to sign up. You can go to our website to apply to volunteer, to foster, to adopt. Um, today only we ask that you make your donations through georgiagives.org. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, our website is the perfect place to make your donation. Yep. Thank you so much, Angel Nation, for being with us here on Giving Tuesday and Georgia Gives Day. We so appreciate your time. And these guys appreciate you too, huh? Yeah. <laughs>